I was a complete injury. I was told I was going to be a paraplegic from the middle of my chest down. Wow. And now I'm crawling yeah, at yeah, a yeah. core strength. The things that we can accomplish when we truly set our mind to it, will I ever walk again? Maybe not. But the fact that I've improved my quality of life this much and I get to be healthy and happy, that's a win. <laughs> You're listening to the Christoph Lewis Podcast, a podcast where I have conversations with inspirational people. My name is Chris, but my family calls me Christoph. My goal is to have as many conversations as possible with people who have forged their own path by pursuing their dreams, making them a reality, all the while emitting positivity and sharing this knowledge with others. I seek these people out and share this information with you, proving to the world that you can do what makes you happy and do what you want for a living while being a good human being. We'll talk about careers, but we'll also cover any story that inspires. Let's do this while helping each other. Thanks for listening. I'm happy you're here. What's up, my friends? Welcome to the Christoph Lewis Podcast, Create Your Career. This is guest number 150, conversation number 150, total episodes number 256. Thank you so, so much for being here. I just, at the time of this recording, hit two years of podcasting in March, and wow, I'm very humbled to have been able to do something for so long that you continue to listen, show support. It's just too cool. So I feel honored. Thank you so much for being here. My guest today is Jesse Strawham, and she was in a bad accident and she had a spinal cord injury and she has overcome so much and she i think i'm pretty sure i can confidently say one of the if not the most positive people that i've talked to on the entire show of 150 guests like the optimism this she didn't stop smiling for a second like and it's so and she's so genuine so incredibly awesome and i just i cannot wait to share this episode with you there are so many things that are good here, but not only because we just talk and we have a conversation, but she delivers actionable items, things that you can go do yourself in your life to actually see a turnaround. The way that she's actually gotten mobility back into her body because of her hard work, because of her mental and her physical six pack. Like she is going out there, she's crushing it. She's lost 30 pounds since she had her accident and she's grown so much stronger, not only physically, but mentally as well. So she is crushing it. Remember, you can find this episode on christophelewis.com forward slash podcast on any of your favorite podcast app and head over to YouTube. You can watch the conversation and that would be so helpful if you could subscribe. And sharing this with a friend is just an awesome way to help somebody out. So without further ado, welcome to the Christoph Lewis podcast, Create Your Career. Thank you so much for having me. I'm pumped to be here. Yeah. I say it every time. Like literally, I think the first thing I say every single episode is I am so pumped to be doing this. So like right off the bat, I'm just going to say, find something that just gives you that level of excitement. And I'm not trying to like gloat or anything, but I think you know that you really enjoy doing something when every time you do it, you're like, damn, this is really fun. I'm having a good time. But before we get into the rest of the episode, again, thank you so much for being here. And would you mind introducing yourself just a little bit to the people that might not know who you are? So my name is Jesse Strawham. I am a spinal cord injury survivor. I was in a traumatic motorcycle accident five years ago. A woman made a U-turn into the bike I was a passenger on. She wasn't paying attention. And the driver of the bike went through her car, broke his leg. I went over her SUV, broke my back in two places. My ribs punctured my lungs, nicked my spinal cord. I have a traumatic brain injury and I coded twice and was resuscitated. So I'm I'm very, very lucky to be here and I live wow. each day with that mindset. That's crazy. What did you say happened twice to you? I'm not familiar with that term. I coded. Um, so oh, code I died. It. Code it I twice. Flatlined. Holy yeah. shit. Done, son. Oh um, my and God. And it's crazy because I was actually, I was saved the day before my injury. I was at a friend's grandmother's wake and the pastor was talking and I can't even explain this feeling of, calmness came over me and I just felt like everything was going to be okay. And at the time I didn't know what was going to be okay, but now I do. <laughs> wow. 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 That is heavy. We're starting this off heavy. So you, you code it twice, which means you, you died, you flatline twice. That's insane. And here you are. And I'm going to say, if you're not watching this on YouTube and you're just listening to this on audio, I will say since the moment we started this zoom conversation, you've been smiling and it's just been so uplifting and we were talking about the certain circumstances that are going on right now the present circumstances that are going on right now with covid because we're recording this on march 31st march yeah march 31st i was yeah. like is it april yet no march 31st 2020 and like for me in virginia we're just we just officially went into lockdown and places are going in lockdown all the time and you've just been so positive 
already. And so I'm going to kind of like break things up here. And I want to just dive into what we were talking about before we started recording. And I really liked what you said about it. Cause I was like, I really have been seeing a lot of silver linings in this. So you mind kind of, I guess, let's just talk about what we were talking about offline. So I am a student. I go to a community college here in Charlotte. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I'm a little bit okay. uh, south of you. Yeah. And we obviously two weeks ago, they made us go to online courses mm -hmm. and it's actually been super beneficial and it feels more like one on one training because it's essentially a Zoom call with the instructor. So as you have questions, you raise it, oh, cool. you raise your hand virtually and they answer them. So you're still getting that, but there's no distraction of an entire classroom around wow. you. And so I'm understanding my out college algebra more. Um, I've planted a garden. <laughs> <laughs> I have slowly been decluttering and getting rid of things. Uh, I got rid of three trash bags of clothes. I have wow. it, been going through my files and everything. It's all that stuff that you don't have time to do mm -hmm. that now, you know, I'm forced at home and I'm forced mm -hmm. to do it. The gym's closed. School's closed. I have no reason to leave my house. Mm -hmm. I can't volunteer at the hospital. So I'm like, I'm staying home and I'm getting all of this done. Mm -hmm. And I've been more productive in the last three weeks that I've been <laughs> self-isolating than I have in the last year. And it's amazing because I've been forced not to travel. I'm not traveling for speaking engagements. Mm -hmm. I'm not traveling. I host meetups. Um, I'm not traveling to do that. You know, I'm, I'm staying home and I'm getting the things done. And it's crazy. I, uh, I have a whiteboard in my bedroom and on this board, I write my tasks into small little, I break mm -hmm. my big goals sure. into small tasks so I can physically pull them off. I can't remember who's, idea it originally came from. Um, but it's been so beneficial to me because you're creating accountability. You're pulling these tasks mm -hmm. off and then I put them into a container. Hmm. And at the end of the month, if I have more than 50, I reward myself and I'm an account for March today. And I feel like Too I'm cool. at hundred. This thing is so Dude. cool. So you're like going to double reward yourself. Like what does that consist of? How <laughs> incredible is that going to be? <laughs> I know it's going to be great. I'm going to have a full spa day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. That's a lot of cool, like actually actionable items that we can already apply. Like if you're at home, so say like we were talking about making the best of your situation. And it's so cool to hear that instead of just like wallowing in self pity and just like doing nothing around your house and saying that you're bored. Cause I've been really fired up about people saying that lately, that you're actually doing something and you're making the best of your time. Cause yeah, it might last for a couple months, but let's like build up some things that are going to like some habits because it's takes ideas. a while you know, ideas all these things it's like the idea time like let's you know we're living in the idea it's cloud a, <laughs> it's amazing what what this time can do i keep seeing all this stuff on social media about this tiger king or yes same I haven't tiger watched it yet something i don't know and i'm not gonna watch it i don't even yeah. have a tv in my room i mean i don't i don't to me spending time watching TV is not being productive to who I want to be in 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't waste my time on things that aren't going to get me to where I want to be and aren't beneficial to my well overall well being. And I realized that too often I was giving my time away to things mm -hmm. that weren't helping me to get to where I wanted to be. And so I'm creating this habit of focusing on the goal and getting there. Mm -hmm. And this has just been a, a massive opportunity to make the small steps. I created an intro for my YouTube video, something I've been putting off for three years. I am starting a new YouTube series for people with spinal cord injuries. So cool. um, it's, it's going to be called sex ed because you're not taught about sex after injury. Mm. And so I'm creating okay. um, each video will be like a different level of injury and different length of time with injury. And it's like, these are different people. So you can kind of find wow. somebody that's similar to you. That's so it's cool. Just, it's, I love to do that. That's my yeah. passion. So you're talking about um, things that get you mm -hmm. fired up, do things yes. like doing this yes. right now. This gets me fired up because it's like I get to share all of these little nuggets of information that have helped me get to where I want to be, help me spark a recovery. I was a complete injury. I was told I was going to be a paraplegic from the middle of my chest down. Wow. And now I'm crawling yeah, at yeah, a yeah. Full core strength. Yeah. I mean, the things that we can accomplish when we truly set our mind to it, will I ever walk again? Maybe not. But the fact that I've improved my quality of life this much and I get to be healthy and happy, that's a win. Yes. And it, 
the downtime from the quarantine, yeah, you know, I'd like to go to the gym physically, but now I'm stuck at home creating workout videos <laughs> for newly injured workout videos for people that have been injured long period of time. Um, getting in my leg braces, tutorials, educational things. I'm actually working on one about um, the perspective of somebody that used to drink and drive and has a DUI and then got a spinal cord injury unrelated to drinking and driving. Mm-hmm. And then the perspective of somebody that's gotten a spinal cord mm-hmm. injury from dr- somebody that's been drinking sure, sure. and driving. And so to bring that educational awareness of you may think it can never happen to you, but look, here's someone that it's happened to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that always how it is? It's kind of like what we're seeing on a global scale right now is we never thought this would happen. And I know for a while and still has some glimmer of, it seems pretty surreal to me. You know, it's, it's, it's weird, but I think once you get past that and you realize like, wow, look at all the opportunity I have now, I will say And there are people out there and maybe even listening to this, probably even listening to this, that either A, got sick or B, lost their job. And, you know, I've said before and my heart goes out to you, but I do think um, like I feel sorry for you. Like I, I, I wouldn't want that. But at the same time, it's a new opportunity. A door closes. You can't help what happened. You can't help that you got sick. You can't help that you lost your job. But try to find a way because there is a way, I think there is always a way, because if you don't process thoughts that way, then you're going to set yourself up for failure right off the bat. So find a way, another way to do it. And thank God that we live in such a day and age to where we have the internet. So we're doing this Zoom call. So, okay, maybe you're not a server anymore, or you're not whatever job that you got laid off from, but now you have the internet at your disposal, and you can YouTube, research anything, talk to whoever you want, And you can figure out how to do a new job. You could figure out how to, I mean, there are just so many jobs you can do online. So there you, like you're saying. A server could create a YouTube series solely on the stories from serving, from working with this. Oh, it's such a good idea. There you go. Boom. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Like I literally, I wish I had the manpower to put (laughs) all of my ideas into, into work because. Obviously just need to clone yourself. (laughs) No, no, I'm just pumping <laughs> ideas. I want like I have so many entrepreneur yeah, ideas yeah. for everybody. I'm like, try yeah. this. Like I want to see. But that's so cool just... that you're you're out there making that content though, because you're helping other people. So that's like one of my stipulations to have people on the podcast is are they helping other people? The answer for you is yes, absolutely you are. Oh, <laughs> you have to help others. That's part of being human. And the more I wish that we could get more people to realize that you get more when you help others than you do trying to fulfill things for yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I volunteer at the hospital. Mm -hmm. It's the reason that I make the content I make because it's, this is what fills my cup. This is what Mm -hmm. gets me, gives me motivation to do the, my dreams, my personal dreams and goals. Mm -hmm. It's Mm -hmm. like, I'm in school, I'm working on an education, but it's the drive of how am I going to help people with that in the long run? Sure. Sure. And that's so cool. It's so awesome to be able to combine both, right? To grow yourself and then have other people grow with you. It's just, it's empowering. And you said it's very fulfilling as well. So it's cool to just be able to do that as well, to do all of those things in totality is super, super great. So that is so many good points about the the COVID stuff. So I, I don't, I, I'm not trying to like hijack every conversation with this, but I think it's relevant to now. So like, let's help people now and get them in the mindset. That's why I've been talking about it so much in my solo podcasting is like, let's get people to think about these, the, the, just this mindset, change your perspective completely and approach. These are new problems. So we have to approach them with new mindsets, right? We have the internet at our disposal. There's no reason that anyone shouldn't just the, the reason is typically fear. Fear is stopping mm-hmm. people. And it, it, I catch myself all the time. I'm scared of what happens if I'm successful. Oh, and it's like, it, what happens? You know, that's a scary <laughs> thought in itself. Your life's no longer ordinary. Mm-hmm. And I think if people just, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You're going to fail and go back to your old life. Yeah. Okay. Or you could try and find another yeah. way to make it work. Yeah. But take this moment, take 10 minutes a day and just brainstorm what's what you're most passionate about. What would make you mm-hmm. happy? Mm-hmm. And from every aspect of your life, personal relationships, where you live, your your job, whatever your career is, what if you want to build a business, whatever it is, what is going to make you happy? And mm-hmm. I spend a week doing that. And then break that down and figure out how you can work yeah. towards those things. Yeah, those, those, those are so good. And ask other people too, just like we're doing and you're yes. throwing out like, 
we just happen to talk about this stuff. And now we, we have the thing about your whiteboard. We have the thing about servers making YouTube content about the stories. Cause God knows I was a server for three years and there's some crazy shit that happens. And there's just, I, I, I chose create your career, the podcast title for a reason, because create, like if you can, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Like if literally, if you can imagine it, you can go do it. So that's so cool. I, I want to say though, for, for everybody listening and for yourself, and I know you know what I'm about to say, but the reason I have you on the podcast is because of a photo that you posted on your stories of an old photo. And I just, I saw it on a story and I was like, I have to click on this because your caption was awesome. And, you, and I read it and I immediately messaged you with that photo. And I said, I have a podcast. I need you on there now because I need to talk to you about, because like you're so transparent. So spoiler, the photo, you're, you're sitting there and you have a, a plethora of amazing photos, but you're sitting there in these awesome looking diapers. And I'm just like, wh- how insanely cool and awesome and just transparent and strong and just so filled with confidence is this person that I'm looking at right here. So that's why I immediately wrote you before I even like read the whole thing. And then you're, you, I think you literally just texted back. Yes. Like a thousand times. Yes. Or so, you know, and then here we are and I'm just like, so I just, I know I made the right decision by reaching out to you by just that one post. And I think it's incredible that you did that because like you said, you're making YouTube videos for people that haven't experienced this before. Now they're experiencing this. We don't talk about sex with that. You don't hear about it. So let's help that. Cause obviously that is something that we need to talk about. And that's just why I love, I want to bring up that post because that's why I have you on here or at least the first instance of it. And then you just bring up all these other points. Well, when I was first injured, you know, people would come up to me and say, wow, I really hope you walk again. And in my mind, I'm like, I just want my bladder back. Sure. I, you don't realize the first thing people see is that you're physically disabled, mm-hmm. but they don't see what comes with that. And mm-hmm. I lost bowel and bladder control, as do most people with spinal cord injuries. And so I use a catheter to go to the bathroom and I have to put a glove on and stick my finger up the, my butt to go the other. And it's like. People don't know that and nobody wants to talk about it because no one wants to talk about it to begin with. And so (laughs) I just wanted to be, Mm -hmm. I I pride myself on my authenticity. Like Mm -hmm. I'm authentic all the time. I'm hundred percent me. I'm unapologetically me because at the end of the day, not everyone's going to like me. So why am I going to let everyone's judgment of who they think I should be control who I'm going to be? And so I'm like, I'm owning it. I'm owning this is who I am. This is what it is. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, there's an unfollow button. And then I still, I stick to that to this day. If you like it, then that's cool. If not, don't spread your negativity. Just hit unfollow. It's not that hard. That's awesome. That's that's some like stream ownership. Jocko Willink would be proud. Like you could probably teach him a thing or two. <laughs> you hear that, Jocko? Let's get you on and talk about it. <laughs> but that is so good. Like the authenticity, the transparency, the confidence, the ownership. These are such strong words to be able to use to articulate that person that you want to be and then who you actually are living because there's a huge difference between thinking you want to do all these things and thinking you want to talk about all these things and then actually going out there and talking about it creating the content for it because ultimately what is it going to do it's going to help other people i found myself wanting to do it wanting to do it and i wouldn't follow through Mm. and i just there came a point where i'm like if i don't do this it's not going to get done and so that's how i kind of created that accountability for myself and realizing you know, I need to stop talking about it and I need to follow through. Because if I don't follow, if I don't follow through, no one's going to get behind me. Sure. And I'm just going to be continuing to talk with yeah, no yeah, action. Yeah. So how did you finally so, break out of that though? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, no, you're yeah, fine. And I was going to no. say, how did, how did you break out of that? Like, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I'm never doing it. And then how did you like get over that hump to finally doing it? I got fed up with my circumstances. I was, I was just tired of the life I was living. I feel like I've been stuck in the confines of the government living on uh, social security, the disability. And it's just not, it's not enough to live a full life. Mm -hmm. And they create these limitations for you. And I'm like, you know what, screw it to hell with it. So I actually lost my first level of benefits last year at the end of last year. So this is my first like Three, I'm three months into this year without prescription drug benefits. So I pay a hundred dollars a month for my bladder medicine now. And that's the medicine that makes it where I don't pee. Uh-huh. Um, both of the medicines together are like $500, but I can't afford both. So I had to choose. Why did you lose one, those? The cheaper one. Uh, because I made too much money with my business last year. Good for you though. I'm trying, I know, right? <laughs> it was $1,000 too much, which was kind of, I was like, dang it. Oh man. Yeah, but it's but just so, going to compound, you know, it's just going to continuously compound. 
Right. And that's what I'm looking at. You know, it's like, I, Good for you. I've let go, at least it's happening in levels. So it's not all at once. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm learning to let go of that comfort and mm-hmm. really risk it all and go mm-hmm. after everything I want. I think I'm going to, um, I'm working on publishing, self-publishing a book. I, I read today that you threw it, how you could do it on Amazon, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 so yeah. I've been researching that and I'm working on putting like a, a personal development goal setting book together because wow. that's where my passion is. You know, we have to set effective goals and then figure out how to execute them. And we always fail typically on the execution parts. Like we have mm-hmm. all these great mm-hmm. ideas, but why not make them happen? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't the saying like, oh, I thought about you see an invention. You're like, I thought about that years ago, but <laughs> right. they actually like- went out and did it. Right. So what yeah. what and aren't the you person doing? That follows through <laughs> prospers from it. So why yeah. is it? It doesn't even matter that you thought mm-hmm. of it because yep. you didn't follow through. <laughs> exactly, and that's where I've struggled with. I, I don't think I'm bad at it, but I have struggled with it, and I think everybody struggles with it to some you know level. So that's why I wanted to ask Absolutely. you about like what helped you break out of that. So let's add to that a little bit more, and like what were some of the other behaviors that led to this continued success that you've seen with your business? Self-recognition is the first thing. And it's again, just recognizing what you're saying. So for me, it started with how I spoke to myself. And I'm like, if someone, if I wouldn't let someone else say that or want someone else saying that Mm -hmm. to me, I'm not going to speak to myself that way. So stop calling yourself stupid, dumb, anything along those lines, anything to degrade yourself. I don't say it. I don't put myself down. I refuse yeah. to because I, lo- I have too much self-love. Um, it really started there. And then once I recognized how much I love myself, I'm like, all right, I'm doing this because I love myself. And then I would think about who I want to be in 10 years. Mm-hmm. And it came back to, is this going to get me to where I want to be in 10 years? Mm-hmm. And so it's really just focusing. And that came with meditation, honestly. Mm, okay. I, I started with three minute meditations and I would be every other day. And then I worked my way to every day and then I worked my way to five minutes and now I'm between five and 10 minutes and I've been doing it for nice. about a year. Nice. I need to get back into that. I'm trying to figure out when, to, when do you, so I'm going to ask you a, a selfish question. When do you do it? And it'll help. Right. It'll help at nighttime. It'll help somebody else right is what I'm saying. Bed. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm in bed. I'm laying down. I uh-huh. put my meditation on. And if I fall asleep during it, I fall asleep during it even uh, better. Nice. Right? Because yeah. you're like, you're meditating yourself right into that calm, sure, empty sure. mind is the goal. So you go to sleep re- and okay. you're not restless. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Because like I said, I need to get back into it. I'm sure other people have talked about it as well. Other guests. And I have a lot of one-off conversations with the listeners too about this stuff. So I know if it helps me, it's going to help somebody else. And that's, again, goes, goes and sides with sharing things because it's going to help a lot of people, probably more than you think. And I think that the self-recognition, the self-love, not saying negative things about yourself, because how many times do we say things, just really small quips that are negative about ourselves? Like, oh, I'm such an idiot or, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. So it's so cool to be able to do that and just do it a little bit less and a little bit less each day, just like you did a little bit more meditation, a little bit more meditation. And yeah, that's really interesting. So you you sound like you're really good at setting goals and then taking action on them. Do you have a process for that? Like, how do you ensure you are not like chasing two rabbits or does that even matter to you? I set the big goal. So the example I always use is my nonprofit wheel with me foundation. And our big goal is to build a transitional community, but to get there, there's all these small steps. So like one's build a budget. I host community meetups to work on bringing the community together and to raise awareness of what we're doing. Um, working on how the community would be set up, getting engineers, every single step is broken Mm. into those small tasks. And so then it's not so overwhelming and then go to start anything if you are a procrastinator, which there's no such thing as procrastination. I think it was Will Smith who said that. Okay. Um, and the reason being is you're just not setting something as a priority. You're not mm-hmm. putting anything off. It's just not a priority to you. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, that's why you're not doing it. You rather watch TV, you scroll social media, whatever it is mm-hmm. that you're doing instead of getting the thing done. And that's what else I was like, wow, I'm, I just spent an hour on social media. And what is that doing to get me to where I want to be? Mm-hmm. Wow. I guess school's not really a priority. And mm-hmm. when I started checking myself that way and saying wow. out loud to myself, wow, I guess I don't really care about will with me foundation then. And that was when I was like, 
girl, we're gonna get it together and start doing it. And I literally talk out loud to myself like sure. this. And I think that's something else that you can do. It's an awesome tool to have is talking out loud. And it really brings this acknowledgement to the way that you're acting because you're, you're saying it out loud and you're like, girl, you just spent an hour on social media. Like that was an hour. You could have got all these things done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when you recognize it that way, you're, it just brings this whole awareness mm-hmm. yeah. to your actions. Yeah. You're so right about that. That's why I love podcasting. Quite frankly, like you're getting your thoughts out. I think you bring up such a good point. I love that you said that it's one thing saying something in your head, but especially saying something where you hear your own voice, you hear you actually say it. You're like, shit, you're right. <laughs> like, I need to make this a priority. And that's really interesting, too, because I've, like, thought that I've sucked with procrastination. And I think I'm pretty good at not procrastinating, but I think aligning the priorities is also a great way to think about it. So that's another phenomenal thing to take away from this is, like, is it really that important to you if you're doing something else? Maybe not. So it sounds like that's similar to what I do. But, I mean, do you allow yourself, like, to – what? how do you have fun, essentially? Like, what do you do? You sound very, like I said, very goal oriented and that you sometimes like if I spend an hour on social media and be like, oh, I could have gotten something else done. But I, my personal belief is that I'm very much goal oriented too. And I work really, really hard Monday through like Friday and a half, like four and a half days. And I still do work on Saturday and Sunday. But like, for example, for me, I, on Friday night, I don't do anything. I don't have anything scheduled and I spend the whole entire day, well, after work and night with my wife and my family. So do you have, and I feel, I don't feel guilty about it because I did so much, so many things throughout the week. So do you have something similar in your own life? I'm not married and I'm single. So I I have me. Um, Well, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do for you though? You know? I, I go, um, I get massages. Yeah. (laughs) I get get my hair done or I get a facial, um, and I have my best friend is an amazing human being and a business owner as well. And she is probably one of the most supportive people in my life. Um, I have a fitness clothing line. I just released at the beginning of this year and nice. she's like modeling it for me and everything. <laughs> like, so I spend time with them. Yeah. Um, typically once a week I go to their house and we'll play games or whatever. Yeah. And it's like four hours or so. But other than that, especially now that I'm quarantined and mm-hmm. I'm home, mm-hmm. Um, if it was, if I wasn't home all the time, it would be a different story, sure. but I'm, I'm working Monday to Sunday. I'm, I'm working on wow. something Good to get you. me to my goals. This is an opportunity. This quarantine is the biggest sure. opportunity I've ever had. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm using it to its fullest potential. I'm pumping out content and I'm getting everything together and I'm, I'm ready to, to launch a lot of things and make a big difference in my community. I want to help these people so bad. Yeah, I love that. And I think it's really okay. So I got a question because I like I said, I work on the weekends too. And I like I said, it's it's very unique, or it is unique for each individual. So you're gonna answer it differently. Somebody listening to this right now is gonna answer it differently. But I just also kind of wanted to highlight that to like, you guilt free, you know, like, don't be mad at yourself for play, you know, games with your friends once a week for four hours and things like that. But I think it's also awesome that you're hyper focused for seven days a week. So maybe somebody else would ask it. And I understand it because I have an assess- obsessive personality. I understand the seven day a week thing, but maybe just for the sake of somebody potentially wanting to ask, what do you do to ensure that you don't like overwork yourself or overload yourself? Or is that just not, that just doesn't happen for you? So I, when I first started on my, in 2017, I decided to change my physical diet and my mental diet and add physical mm. activity to my life. Love that. And that's when this whole personal development journey has started for me. So I've lost 30 pounds. I've started recovering. That includes regaining sensation and movement in my lower extremities. I've seen that. And that's Um, so incredible. I just going to, I'm going to totally cut you off and be like, I watched one of your videos and it was so powerful and so emotional. And I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm trying not to even get like, too heavy right now like just talking about it but i'm just so happy for you i'm so happy for you that's incredible (laughs) because you showed the before and the after like just a few months and i'm like holy shit you guys need to check it out i'm i'm so grateful the fact that i get to i get to experience this life and i get to recover from it i mean there's there's no words for that um so i started on this mental journey and i would work you know once a week once every other week and then i'd work like twice a week Mm -hmm. and then it went to every other day and then it went to monday to friday and i stayed at monday to friday for a solid 
year, year and a half, because I had a mm-hmm. boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And um, we broke up last fall. And then I started, I was going to see someone else and that didn't work out. And I was like, you know what? It's time. Yeah. And it just was like, now I'm single. I have, I have no one to answer to. I have myself and my husky and that's, I, I just am so driven. I don't, I don't, I don't need time off right now. This is my time. I could take time off. You know, when, when I have a PhD in psychology and I, I have, a couple of transitional houses across the country for spinal cord injury survivors. You know, there's, there's a bigger goal for me right now and a bigger purpose. That is my entire drive. Um, I did take a two hour nap yesterday, which was my first time (laughs) taking a nap in the middle of the day in like years. (laughs) How awesome was that? (laughs) (laughs) I count. (laughs) That is so cool. But the, but you love, like I said, from the very beginning, you're, you're so happy with all this stuff and you really enjoy what you do. So it's not you like, you have to love what you do. Yeah, you're not burdening yourself. With it. Exactly. That, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you said that because that's what I was getting to. Cause I know there's people that look at me kind of like weird, like the skeptics, like, Oh, you, you work hours on the weekend too. And I'm like, yeah, I absolutely do. But it's all the podcasting stuff and other things like real estate and just investing that I really love doing. So to hear your version of what you love to do and that's why you love to do it. And it's not just, um, you know, doing the old nine to five, but I'm doing it well, seven days a week. Me wrong. Yeah. I mean, there are days okay. where I'm like, uh, I don't want to edit this <laughs> yeah, video but your, today. Your goals or, are bigger uh, than I don't want to do algebra today. But at the same time, as soon as I think that I'm like, mm-hmm. I go mm-hmm. right back. I direct myself right back to what's mm-hmm. the bigger goal. Yeah. Where is this going to get mm-hmm. me? And that's the, the most important thing that people need to take from this, from me today is the importance of gratitude. I cannot, cannot, cannot stress it enough. Gratitude takes you so far, regardless of what you're going through, whether it be loss of a loved one, divorce, loss of employment, that any situation can feel the way that my paralysis felt to me. And I can't, oh, I, I overcame this hundred percent with gratitude because I reminded myself every single day out loud, what I had to be grateful for. I have a roof over my head. I have family that loves me. I am still alive. I'm still here. Yeah. I can get an education. I have access to education. I have a vehicle. And I would just list all the things. I have a dog. I'm so lucky to have my dog. She's got me through more things, you know? And it's like, when you take a moment to realize every single thing you have, I'm grateful for the fact that I have hand movement Mm -hmm. because had my injury been higher, I would have lost all, you know, I could have lost all arm function. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. I can shower myself, Yeah. put my own clothes on, go to the bat. I can get onto the toilet, you know, and when you break it down into these small things, you truly, your life is so full and you have so, so much, to be grateful for. I'm just going to pause and suck that in. Like <laughs> coupled, <laughs> coupled with that video I told you about with seeing, like I can easily see why you've had the progress that you've had because of you. You said your physical diet and your mental diet. And I swear you have like the mental six pack going on right now. It is <laughs> bad ass. And it's just like listening to this again. And I know everybody else listening right now is just like, rewind or what is it backwards 30 seconds backwards 30 seconds about five times so we can just listen to all that over again and it was just really good and it's just it's something that has helped me and I love how you just listed that off and you've just I mean I can really tell I talked to a lot of people uh spoiler alert this is you are the 150th guest I always like kind of hitting like a round number and it's really fun so thanks so much again yes. but it's a fun number. Yeah. And I just, I talk to so many people and I, every, I, I love every guest for sure, but it's just more rare to see people just as fired up as you, as positive as you are. And the, I can just tell you've thought about these things a lot and like from the goal setting to the gratitude. And I know Like I said, that's why you've seen progress in yourself, but I know that you you are this way for a reason because you've, you've chosen to do this and you've taken action. And I mean, you're just a spitting image of all the things that I try to articulate day in and day out, seven days a week of, you know, recording and editing. Cause I'm a, you know, one man band over here and 
Same. You, you, yeah, right. It's so fun. <laughs> but you hit that. So th- this is my my drawn out kind of conclusion here to just I, I'm in gratitude that you you are doing what you're doing and you're sharing this not only with me, but with all the things that we talked about. And it just there is not a conversation that I walk away from that doesn't just get me so fired up about wanting to continue doing this and wanting to help other people because the people like you that are doing what you're doing and sharing it with people like me so that other people can learn. So it's just people, 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 people helping people. And I love it. And thank you so much for your time. PHP people helping people. I love that. (laughs) To never stop wanting that growth. Like you said, I have a mental six pack and I'm over here thinking to myself, I have so much growth to do yet. I have so much further that I want to be meant, especially mentally. I'm just, there's so much more strength. There's so much more learning. We can always learn more. We can always perform at a better level. Mm-hmm. And that's, I just am hungry for that growth. I'm mm-hmm. hungry to be the best mm-hmm. version mm-hmm. of me. And mm-hmm. I know that tomorrow I can be a better version than I was today. Yeah, you're right. So many good things to take away from there. Wow. Thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate it. It's been, it's I been really... a blast. Yeah. It's been, it's been one of the, it's another one. I mean, a lot of them, but another one where I was like, oh, let's, let's just push it another 30 minutes. Let's, let's, let's keep on recording. So we'll have to have you on again. I'd really appreciate it. But before I forget, because I'm just so enthralled with this conversation, let us know how we can find you, whether it be Instagram websites, oh. all, all your stuff, all the things. Um, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok and Twitter at J E S I S T R A C H A M. And then my website is jessiestrawham.com. So that's J E S I S T R A C H A M.com. And that's where you can also find my store. To find my nonprofit, it's at Wheel With Me. And that's Wheel With Me Foundation.org. All right. As always, you will be able to see all of those things in the show notes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesse, thank you so much for being here again. This is really fun. Cannot wait to go back and edit this and share it with the world. Your optimism, your goal setting, your mindset, like I said, and and don't discount. You can have a mental six pack and still be working your ass off and want more. And you are doing amazing. And I know I don't need to tell you that, but it's just, I think we need to give each other daps more often because we're just, it just helps. I know it helps. And Just you giving me your time means so much to me. So have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. See ya.